Oh yeah, this is, this is what we're affectionately calling the salon. And it is kind of the nucleus of our set. We've got uh, awards happening in there, intros happening. It's the host position as well as it's not constructed yet, but there's a walkway that continues up, kind of a red carpet look. Uh, so that whole area really is the nucleus of the show. Will talent be up there hanging out and, and like watching performances on the uh, Nominees will be brought in and out. There's uh, other people that will be in to fill the room, so it's got a lot of energy. Um, it's not a specific watching the Plaza Stage performance area, though, but uh, it is definitely the awards and talent cycling through. Oh yeah, well, the whole, the whole concept for this was bold, energetic, confident, um, summer forward, and the idea that we've, we've kind of exploded out of the interior of a theater into different areas and kind of expanded the show. We've taken what typically in Vegas is a two stage or a full stage and a center award area, uh, primarily show and exploded it out into three distinct areas. So we have an interior stage, which is a little more intimate for performances. We have an exterior stage with a live audience uh, for that kind of different energy. And then we have the exterior award, award salon area. Beautiful. All right, so this is our primary entrance into the salon. The formal stairs up. We have this little niche right here, and then we open up into what we're calling the salon, salon world. It's in process now. Um, we'll have a series of tables in here uh, for talent and uh, audience members. Um, and then our awards areas at the end. And we do intros in front of the LED. All right, so this is our primary entrance into the salon. The formal stairs up. We have this little niche right here. And then we open up into what we're calling the salon, salon world. It's in process now. Um, we'll have a series of tables in here uh, for talent and uh, audience members. Um, and then our awards area is at the end. And we do intros in front of the LED. And really, the dynamic of this room is clean, simple architectural lines, energetic with uh, this tinted uh, color palette, this is tinted plexi. Um, mixed in logos. So, in this line, I was talking about the Microsoft. We're emotionally connected to the Microsoft. We'll be connected through cameras. But out here, what we were able to do was a visual connection between, and an emotional connection between our award area and our plaza stage so that when someone's receiving an award, their background is the plaza stage. So there's a nice, a nice connection between the two, sympathetic connection. Um, and also, between all areas, the, the really, in, in my world, the Microsoft was the first idea I had. But, but in the evolution of this, we, we kind of created an architectural language between them all. They're all on their own, separate, and strong, but there's connections architecturally between them. The slight, there's curves of the Microsoft, which are echoed in the main curve of the plaza stage, the curve of the award stage, and then the verticality of all the sets is, is echoed throughout. Okay, so this is our interior space in the Microsoft. Um, it's a huge performance space. Uh, we are typically uh, in Vegas, uh, maybe one-third to one-half of this. So we had the opportunity, because we separated our stages, to enlarge this. So we have a, a terrific amount of floor real estate, big architectural statement, combination of LED, lighting, um, a lot of support for the acts, uh, uh, and a very different vibe, but a sympathetic vibe to what we're doing outside. So right now, Upstage Center is open, but we have a massive LED screen that runs the entire span of the performance area. But you can see the sides, we have a, ribbons of LED that are separated from strong lighting towers. So there's a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, uh, connectivity with the uh, LED content or just a lighting look or a combination of both. 